name's Max Sharam and welcome to the very first video hit special on Australian music. We're kicking off Oz Music Week with a program full of the best talent that's made it out of Australia and in Australia in the 90s. We've got a very special guest coming in to talk about all that she can eat and an exclusive video clip of an Australian band that have made it very big overseas. First of all, in this segment, we've got Peter Andre with his song, his new single that's bulleted up the charts here and overseas, and Tina Arena with her phenomenal success internationally and nationally, Chains, and here it is. And here we have our very special guest, Ms. Katie Lang, with her shiny new album, All You Can Eat. Katie, I do wonder, where did you get the title? I got it from the Yellow Pages. We're else? under Chinese food. <laughs> really? Yeah, there it was. All you can eat. And I went, that's it. Well, that explains why the Chinese writing's down the side. Yep. Is that all you can eat? Well, it's roughly translated. It basically says, fill your belly until you can't fill it anymore. Or something wow. like that. There's a photo in here of a little kid with a big German shepherd. Is that you? Yeah, that's me. That's great. I like the yeah. artwork. Really Thanks. nice colors. Thanks. Now, I'm curious. Have you ever heard of a band called Silver Chair? Yes, I have, of course. Are they as big overseas as we're led to believe? Yeah, they're they're doing really well. They're big in Europe. They're big in the States. Um, I saw them perform at uh, on top of the Radio City. Uh, what do you call that? Key, like the, where the sign is. Where the sign is. Marquee. Oh, really? On top of the marquee at Radio City before the MTV Awards, and they were performing live, and they really, really did well. And really? Yeah, they're they're popular all over. Yeah, I think they are natural. They're great. Gen genuine, genuine kind of rock music. and roll kids. It's great. It's fantastic. Yeah. Hey, we've got their exclusive American version of their hit tomorrow. That was Kylie Minogue with Put Yourself in My Place. The gossip is here that apparently Channel 10 have been getting faxes and emails and letters and telephone calls with people inquiring about a band, four Melbourne guys, called CDB. People want to know what CDB stands for. Apparently it used to be Critical Death Boys, but since they've matured and have got a single charting, they now call themselves simply CDB, and here they are with Let's Groove. There used to be a band in Australia called Elastic, but they had to change their name because of confusion with a British band called Elastica. Well, the guy from Elastic, Andrew Clipple, is now living in Britain, but that was them. They've changed the name to AK Soul, and that was their single, I Like It. Next, we've got an Australian band that had more top 40 hits than any band in the history of Australian music, and they came back after a big break with a big song called Mr. Natural, and here they are, mental as anything. That was Culture with the single that shot them into the 90s, Shucker Jam. And before that was Meryl Bainbridge with the single that sat at number one, as we all know for weeks on end now. And after the break, we've got even more. No longer you. Wonderful new Australian talent, Christine Arnu, with her single, My Island Home. She just keeps on popping out those hits, she does. Anyway, nothing more that I can tell you, other than that I'm on tour in November and December right throughout Australia. First show in Newcastle, then heading to Perth, Adelaide, Melbourne, Brisbane, and of course, Sydney. And that um, if you want to find my little baby, a million year girl, you can probably walk into any music shop and pick it up. Anyway, here's the single off it that launched me into the scene, Coma. Thank you very much for joining us on Video Hits Australian Music Special and have a good night.